Hello guys, welcome back again. It's your girl in the building, Beyonce Babies TV. Today is all about preparing some Nigerian jerk rice. But before we get started, Welcome to all my lovely new subscribers and to my older subscribers. Love you guys so much. Always coming to support this channel. God bless you. And like, I feel really happy to see you guys coming always to support this channel and make a mega shout out for uh, all my retained subscribers for the amazing love that you've been showing on to, uh, onto this channel. But before we go straight into the video, guys, don't forget to like notification that whenever I post a new video you're going to be the first person to be notified so let's go straight into the video so guys as you can see I've prepared already all the, the recipe for the jello fries as I'll be showing you guys step by step first as you can see this is my fresh I'll be needing some fresh tomatoes I need some onion um, normally I love using my purple is that purple or some people call it purple red on for color, I'm a little bit uh, not good when it comes to color. So that's my onion, and I'll be using some nice um, uh, meat. I'm using some nice, that is meat. Some people use chicken, but I'm using today meat. I've tried to a little bit parboil the meat so that I can get uh, out this, you know how beautiful this um, water from it, that is the water from the meat. That is the water, the stock water is very important and very healthy when you prepare your food with. As you guys know, and the next um, ingredient is going to be my almighty carrot, and that is some seasonal spice for the jello rice. As you can see, that is my seasonal jello rice spice, and I'm using some curry, and that is you, you best know that I always love using my uh, my vegetable um, maggi, and that is my sunflower oil. You can as well use any oil of your choice, like olive oil and any oil that you think is healthy for you. And that is my vegetable that we're using. We have some spring spring onion. We have some maize, you know, and paprika red and green. And that is my rice right over there. I'll be using that is my basmatic rice. I use, I love using basmatic when I want to prepare my fried rice. So guys, let's go straight into the video. I'll be showing you step by step to the final stage. Stay tuned. So guys, as you can see, I'm there already now. Let's just get into the video straight. I've already put my, as you see, I've put a little bit of my sunflower oil. The next thing I'll be doing is I have to go put in my onion, as you best know, because I'm doing fried rice. I put in my onion with no tomatoes. I'm putting in my onion, okay? I have to put all the tomatoes because I have to fry the rice together with the onion for about 15 minutes and make sure the rice is really dry before I can put in my tomatoes and the rest of the ingredients so stay tuned and watch with me how i do it so i put in my onion i fry it for about two minutes i have to leave it at fry for two minutes so now my onion as you can see my fry my onion a little bit brown i'll be putting in my fries and then i have to fry it for about 15 minutes for the rice to get a little bit brown. How to fry it on. continuously for 15 minutes. You best know I said I was doing fried rice, so I have to fry the rice. Frying the rice, what I have to add there is I have to put a little bit of this seasonal my vegetable seasonal maggi so that the rice the seasonal maggi to be able to, to be able to penetrate into the rice and I'm frying about two eating spoon. I don't forget my bad manners that I didn't measure it, but as you can see I'm a great cook and I always it depends on how you're cooking. If you're somebody that you can just you know guess how much of the spice you need you don't need any measurement depending on the cups of rice and the quantity of rice you're cooking so 
my rice was about 10 uh, glasses 10 glass of rice so i had to use two tablespoons of the vegetable maggi so fry it like this for about 15 minutes until i get the the real color that brownish color then i'll i'll proceed with the other ingredients so so guys you see i fried the rice already about 15 minutes for you to have that lovely giraffe um, uh, rice look what i did was i have to use some normally people use color to have that delicious look of giraffe rice but what i'm using is i use my curry powder which i put it really inside what next i'll be doing is i have to use some of my seasonal giraffe rice spice as you see by using a bit of it about a spoon of it one eating spoon of this seasonal spice see what is it spring it over the rice the next thing i'll be, I'll be putting in there is my meat together so that i can fry it together oh my God. i have to fry my meat together with it to fry it again see so i put in my meat and the seasonal uh, dry rice spice and i fry it for about five minutes The next thing I'll be putting is I have to put in my tomato. And my garlic and ginger already grind. Then I have like mix everything together. Water from the meat, that is this. And I'll leave it to settle for five minutes before I can add, before I can add more water. So guys, as you can see, I'm done with my fried rice and it's um, some nice vegetable. See how lovely and beautiful the rice is. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Whenever I post a new video, you're going to be the first person to be notified. Stay blessed. Bye.